All right, welcome back. I hope you're having an awesome time so far. Our next speaker is Marcelo Benedetti. He's a senior account executive at SAMA. Please join me in welcoming Marcelo to our virtual stage. All right, thank you for the introduction. And thanks everyone for taking the time to join this webinar. My name is Marcelo Benedetti. I'm a senior account executive at SAMA. I'm based in the SF Bay Area, and I work directly with our partners in the retail and e-commerce space. For those that don't know, SAMA is the leading training data provider with over a decade of experience supporting a diverse range of industries and machine learning use cases. Our talking point today is going to be how AI is changing the shopping experience. So first, we'll be discussing how AI is currently adopted by retail and e-commerce companies today. Next, we'll take a glance at what the future holds for this space based on current trends. And then we'll go ahead and discuss the importance of data quality and how partnering with Sama can help get your models to production more efficiently. So for retail and e-commerce companies, Adopting AI is no longer a nice to have. It's absolutely a necessary step towards improved customer experience, streamlined operations, and market competitiveness. According to a survey, 52% of respondents in the retail and e-commerce space reported leveraging AI today, uh, compared to only 27% across all other industries. So that's quite a substantial difference there. And with a recent study showing that over 50% of customers are likely to abandon a retailer just after one negative experience, um, it really shows the importance and how critical it is that retailers and e-commerce companies use AI to work for and not against them. With over a decade of experience partnering with some of the world's largest retailers like Walmart, Kroger, and eBay, just to name a few, Sama has the in-house technology and firsthand experience to support companies at all stages of AI adoption. So now let's go ahead and dig in, take a look at how these technologies are being adopted today and what that really means for the end customer experience. So most, if not all current AI applications fall into one of these four buckets, personalized shopping, search relevance, customer support, and operations. So within personalized shopping, we see use cases such as targeted product recommendations based on buyer behaviors and the ability to visualize products virtually online. Search relevance, of course, directly affects how quickly and easily shoppers are finding the products they need and are looking for. And then also leveraging NLP to offer enhanced automated customer support is critical, especially in a COVID world with more consumers shopping online. And then lastly, adopting smart automation into operational logistics, such as inventory management, order delivery, and also pickup as some examples in the operational space. So we're all shoppers and we've all visited hundreds of different stores, not only online, but also in person. Of course, the truth about shopping is that whenever you visit a store, the majority of the items you see aren't actually the products you want, of course. So no matter which store you're shopping in, you'll likely need to sift through a ton of different irrelevant items before you find exactly what you need. So through personalization, brands have the power to turn every shopping interaction into a meaningful, rewarding, and efficient experience. And that's exactly what shopping should be, right? Fast, simple, and personalized. So by analyzing consumer data, such as web browsing habits, historical shopping data, social media activity even, brands are able to tailor the shopping experience to customers' interests using AI and automation. So what does that really mean then for the end consumer? Well, with product recommendation engines, consumers are able to find relevant products that genuinely interest them without specific searches or knowing exactly what they're looking for. Um, and with these AR visualization tools that go along with that, Shoppers can see and try on products without leaving their homes. This can range from seeing how a pair of sunglasses might look on your face shape, or even seeing how that couch you've been eyeing might look in your family room. So all these things in turn make the shopping experience feel more custom tailored, which in turn makes the shoppers much more likely to make a purchase.
In e-commerce, relevance has become and remains the underlying criterion for measuring the effectiveness of search. When a customer searches for your website uh, for specific products, the idea, of course, is that results shown to them should be as close as to what they're looking for as possible. If shoppers are unable to find what they're looking for efficiently, they will often go to a competitor site immediately after. Within the category of search optimization, retailers are using numerous AI applications to improve results. Uh, these include search result re-ranking, attribute re-ranking, visual search, voice search, and autocomplete when searching. One example we see is how Walmart continuously ensures its retail inventory is accurately cataloged. If an item isn't properly cataloged, that may impact reporting of inventory levels and misrepresent availab availability of the product to the end consumer, affecting their search results and buying abilities. In this specific scenario, AI technology is used to classify products so that Walmart systems can accurately sense availability. With the help from Sama's expert data annotators, Walmart was able to use machine learning to improve its retail item coverage from 91 to 98%. We've also partnered with eBay on a visual search use case wherein we use polygonal segmentation to distinguish items from the background uh, to the foreground of the item in hundreds of thousands of images over the last couple of years. So what this means for the end consumer is that when they search for a particular item, they are significantly more likely to find exactly what they're looking for, adding significant efficiencies to the shopping experience online. So today, most companies are choosing to leverage AI and automation to complete, augment, or personalize customer service interactions to deliver improved customer experience across various channels. This entails leveraging natural language processing that can interpret text and voice-based interactions with consumers. So what are the advantages of using these automated solutions such as chatbots, which I'm sure we're all familiar with? Well, they can substantially reduce operational costs for retailers, make customer service agents more productive, provide greater visibility into customer needs, expectations, and behaviors, and increase customer engagement and personalization, which leads to a more satisfied and loyal client base overall. This, of course, is especially relevant these days uh, with COVID-19, with consumers, shoppers spending more time uh, and making more purchases online, more now than ever before. So how does this impact the shopping experience directly? Well, it means that shoppers will have access to things like 24 by seven customer service, instant responses, um, answers to questions, improved overall communication, and faster issue resolution, which in turn enables customers to spend more time shopping, which is of course what retailers and uh, e-commerce companies want their clients to be doing. AI implementation is making a huge difference for retail supply chain optimization as there's a greater need for fast delivery to shops and then customers in an increasing focus on tight inventory control. Such application helps retailers understand exactly how their supply chain is operating, make improvements throughout and eliminate waste and overhead. This is especially true when it comes to inventory management. While the conventional form of inventory management was restricted, restricted to current stock levels, AI enabled inventory management is unlocking how companies can maintain stock levels uh, based on data related to sales trends over previous years, projected or anticipated changes in product demands, and also potential supply related issues that could impact inventory levels. Also, the introduction of automated robotics and retail inventory management will greatly impact the future of operations. These robots help to cut down on the redundant process of sorting so that workers can take on more creative and collaborative roles. One example is Walmart's recent introduction of the Alphabot, an autonomous warehouse robot that helps to enable quicker, more efficient order picking. The system operates inside a 20,000 square foot warehouse style space using autonomous carts to retrieve items ordered for gro online grocery. After it retrieves them, Alphabot delivers the products to a workstation where a Walmart associate checks, bags, and delivers the final order. So the end result for this example and others like it are that customers can expect a more efficient order pickup and delivery process 
a reduction in order errors, and better customer service with associates being more focused on helping the customer versus those aforementioned redundant processes. So where do we go from here in this space? Well, US e-commerce sales as a percentage of total retail sales have experienced a major hockey stick growth in 2020 and 2021, of course, largely due to the impacts of COVID-19. One study by Forrester shows that there have been the equivalent of 10 years growth in e-commerce sales in three months last year in terms of uh, US e-commerce penetration. With more consumers transitioning to shopping online more now than ever, retailers and brands will be focused on leveraging AI to automate e-commerce operations as much as they possibly can. In the near term, this will mean even more emphasis on customer service, including more advanced and accurate chatbot capabilities, enhanced personalized shopping functionalities for online consumers, and logistics automation around inventory management and pickup delivery order operations. In the future, we can absolutely expect some exciting, innovative breakthroughs to take hold in this space, such as what we've seen thus far with autonomous checkout. Through the widespread adoption, or excuse me, though the widespread adoption will take longer than many uh, expected due to various logistical challenges, such as adapting the technology to various store layouts and retrofitting existing stores to support this technology, we have seen some promising development. One example, of course, being Amazon's autonomous checkout deployment, as we've seen with the Amazon Ghost stores, and also Circle Pay, a convenience store chain in Arizona, which has partnered with Standard Cognition to implement an autonomous checkout pilot at one of their Phoenix locations. So very much exciting things to come in this space in the future. So how can companies rapidly implement all of these exciting AI-driven applications in use cases that we've talked about so far today? Well, really through high quality ground truth training data. I'm sure we've all heard the term garbage in, garbage out, which has since become quite cliche in this industry, but it couldn't be more true when it comes to trying to efficiently build a new model or fine tune an existing one. If your AI training data set is subpar, considered garbage, the resulting algorithm will also be at the same level. A false positive in machine learning might produce a poor customer experience for an e-commerce chatbot, erroneous product recommendations, ruining the, the shopping experience, uh, inability to find a desired item as it relates to search relevance or a multitude of possible logistical or shopping and shipping errors. So how can you be sure that data you're getting is actually useful? Well, according to McKinsey Global Institute, obtaining high quality data sets is one of the top limitations for AI adoption today. However, it can be a challenge to obtain high quality data sets at an affordable cost and scale. Regardless of your use case, an effective training data strategy can help you establish a firm baseline for data quality. Start by first clearly articulating your end training goal. This will help determine what data needs to be collected, as well as the level of data quality desired and required to meet that goal. Dataversity shares nine dimensions of data quality to keep in mind in order to reduce the risk and cost associated with bad data. Uh, this includes accuracy, of course, completeness, consistency, data integrity, reasonability, timeliness, data uniqueness, validity, and accessibility. As you can see, high quality data is imperative to the success of your algorithm and having a dedicated team can provide the added benefit of industry and use case expertise. Over the last decade, Sama has submitted over half a billion labeling tasks with tens of billions of labels to train our partners' machine learning models. With our vertically integrated workforce, robust annotation platform and consultative approach to project management, we have the knowledge base and firsthand experience to help our partners efficiently train their algorithms while getting the most out of their data sets. Our solution has directly translated to product roadmap acceleration, significant reduction in internal costs and boosted sales for our retail e-commerce partners. So please go ahead and contact us here at Sama if you have any questions or you'd like to kick things off and get started with a pilot project. Thank you all for taking the time to watch this webinar. I hope to connect with you all in the future. Thank you again.
Awesome. Thank you so much, Marcelo. That was an amazing presentation. And I know the audience is giving you a huge virtual round of applause. <laughs> All right. For the audience, it's time for you to make your way to your next session. Along the way, make sure you accept your connection request and check out our amazing AI exhibits. Thanks so much, and we'll see you around.